This is a Windows Phone 7 Gamer Review of Elo Milo, which is available in the marketplace for $4.99 and is an Xbox Live title. Elo Milo is a really fun strategy puzzle game that has amazing visuals. So right here, you can actually tilt the phone around a bit and the background will actually move with the phone's accelerometer. So that's already a neat visual effect here. And so you can start the game here, and there's three different stages here. Chapter 3, Chapter 2, and Chapter 1. And the game actually has a story to go along with it too here. And you just flip through a little book, and it gives you some words. And the story's just really short, but it's actually kind of cute. And in each of those stages, you have nine levels there to play. That's the first stage there, and then that's just the beginning that teaches you how to play the game. And so in each stage you can get stars if you rescue all of the little characters in them, or just hearts for completing them. You don't have to complete every stage in each chapter, you can just complete a few of them here. You have to complete at least six levels here to move on to the next chapter, so you could complete any one of those there. And then you can always come back later to go for higher scores and things like that. So here's how the gameplay works. I'll load this level. So here's the game, and as you can tell, it looks really neat too. And there's that creature there that's walking around. You can change the camera by just swiping like that. And you can pinch to zoom in to get closer or pinch to zoom out to get further away so you can see the whole level. Also, when you're holding the device, you can tilt it and the camera will tilt some there. So the visuals are really incredible. And the audio to it is also really neat. And the gameplay is definitely great. Some of these puzzles I couldn't even figure out actually. So they really keep you entertained. And so there's the monster there, and you want to avoid them, and it tells you that they like apples, so why don't you help it get the apples? So you can actually stand in front of it and it'll just turn around there. But you want to help this thing get to its apples. So, let's see. So here's how the controls work. You have your directional controls here, so you can navigate around the level, and then you can switch characters here. And the whole goal of the game is to unite these two characters together. That's how you beat the level. But you'll collect these little moving character things here, which you can kind of see this one over here. It's right there. He's following the blue character there. You'll collect those, and those will give you the little stars. So, as you can see, one of those is hiding behind there, so you need to get the monster to eat the apples so that you can rescue him. It's not mandatory to rescue those, but that'll help get you those stars. Actually, that's the only way to get the stars if you rescue all of them. So you can grab the blocks there, and then use these blocks in order to solve some of the levels. And you need to be kind of cooperative with your two little people here and switch between them so that you can get across things like that. And we're gonna have to wait here. So, if we lead on that little monster here and after he goes across we can take the brick up and then place the brick there for it to go across. And there we go. And so as you see, the levels sometimes even go on the side of the whole stage there. So if you walk across here, you'll go on this part of the level. I'll go through a few of the other levels that the game has just to give you an idea of the variety. So let's exit the game and go to the map here. Um, this is chapter 3 here. And I'll do a level I haven't played yet here. So you'll get about, I'd say, at least two and a half hours of gameplay if you try to play this straight through. 
And that'll of course depend on how good you are at solving these levels. Because some of them are a lot harder than others. So this block that I picked up here actually expands. If we place it there, it expands to three. So that already gives you an idea of some of the variety in the game. Oh, so there's one of the little things that you want to rescue. And then he starts following you around. And I just found an egg which unlocks some extra levels that you can play after you beat the whole game. So here's where the game becomes pretty creative. You can switch off a block here by just placing it up there, then going to that character, and then having this character grab the block. Overall, these puzzles are really tough to solve, yet they're really fun, and the graphics are incredible, the sounds are great, the music's fabulous, and the controls are perfect, and the only thing that kind of hurts it is the lasting value, which is at about two or three hours, but it really depends on how good you are at solving these puzzles. You could possibly uh, beat the game within two hours and complete every single thing in it if you're really great at puzzle games. But then you could also take like five hours to complete it all if you just quite can't figure everything out. But the inclusion of their little rating system there where you have to collect those little buddies to get higher scores and to get the perfect stars on each level really increase the gameplay and also trying to find those secret eggs here so you can play the bonus levels that definitely helps too and you can also compete with the leaderboards here and your scores will be based off of how well you how efficiently you complete the levels so you don't want to take too many steps over different blocks. So overall it's really great that Elomio came to all the Windows Phone 7 devices. I was a bit jealous of the AT&T phones when only they had it at first. But now everyone can get it for $4.99 in the marketplace. Subscribe to WM Power User to watch all the latest reviews.